welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing the Gap Options Newsletter Subscription 2022. Year-to-date advanced trader results. Obviously, these numbers would be less if you risked less per trade and only did, for example, one contract. I am going to try to do this more often this year to show beginner results for people too. But today, I wanted to talk about advanced trader. Obviously, I started trading in 20, 2008. It's 2022, so it's 14 years for me. Depends how much experience you have. It depends how much you can risk. But we have been on a roll here this year. The win ratio has been 87% year to date. Year to date profits, again, 1067775 This is with an average risk per trade of $8,000. Now, why do I have that risk? I honestly want to be able to do things like Google and Amazon and Tesla. Some of those are expensive. You know, if you cannot risk 5,000, 6,000 per trade, you can't do some of those what I call high flyer stocks. There is a huge benefit to doing some of those trades though because of the fact that they have monster, monster moves. Now, if you can't do those, you'll do the ones that you can afford depending on your risk, like Apple, the Spy, the Qs, Facebook, there's many things that we do, PayPal, uh, JPM, there's so many of them with very, very reasonable risks. Although I will say, I've noticed a, a big difference this year with the volatility in the market and both sides actually calls inputs that things at the money, at the money, the price points have increased, particularly in the SPY and the queues of the market, one of the trades we've done. And that is because of the volatility we've seen. One day the market will go up, next day it'll fall. One day it'll fall, the next day it'll go up. Volatility means the unexpected, and that is made for these these, these really uh, very unusual costs, I think, for at the money uh, market trades. We're doing them anyways. Uh, we're doing them anyways, and, and many of them are working, which has been why we've had such a fantastic start to the year. So again, you have to account for the fact that some trades will lose, but an 87% win ratio is phenomenal, it's fantastic. So I'm very focused this year. If you have questions, you can always call me. Just call me on the phone. If you if, if I don't answer, leave a message. I will call you back. I am a busy person, but I will call you back. I try to return phone calls in 24 to 48 hours. So you can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can email me at melissathestockswish.com if you'd like information. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype as well. We are at the end of earnings season. We have a couple of earnings in the next week, but really the next earnings season doesn't start till April, pretty much after Easter. Or no, it's actually right before Easter, I think, uh, with how Easter's time this year, but it's in April. Earnings season is a great time to trade. We've, we've been active now though, even though earnings season is almost over. Why? Because of the volatility we've had in the market. Some of it is the Fed. Some of it is what's happening in Ukraine with the Russia invasion. There's many reasons why the market may gap, or stocks too, not just earnings. But earnings season does make it a busy time to trade. I think if you want to sign up, though, you should sign up as soon as possible so you don't miss some of the great trades we've had with this incoming volatility. And again, sometimes we do puts to the downside. Sometimes we do calls to the upside. You don't know until I send it out. And again, the newsletter is emailed to you. It's emailed to you in live time. If you get them in the pre-market, you can't do the trades until after the open, okay? But 2022 is one of these years where I'm very focused on my go goals. It's one of the reasons why we've had such a banging start to this year. I have some huge goals for myself this year. And again, I think having big goals for yourself is great, but you've got to do the work. You've got to do the work. You've got to take the steps. You've got to be able to take risk if you want to trade. You're not going to know what you're going to get in the letter until you sign up. You must pay before you sign up. I do not do trials for the newsletter. I'm here to answer questions for you. If you want to take the class, do the class first. If you have experience trading options, maybe you don't need to do the class. It's up to you. But I'm here always to answer questions for you. And 2022 is the year really to make your dreams come true. You have to have a plan of action. What is your plan of action? I tell people, when they sign up the newsletter, what is your plan of action to get out of the trades? The target, a certain return and investment amount, you need a plan of action, okay? You can't just say whatever. Again, with the volatility comes responsibility. You must make sure that you get out of your trades when you're up, okay? So, so far, oh, let's talk about the, the risk I was talking about. 8,000 on average, okay, per trade, you could risk 1,000, 1,500. That's a good amount too. So year-to-date results with that risk, 
87% win ratio, zero break evens, 13 losers. We've only had 13 losers. And this is through last week. 84 winners, 1,607,755. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens this week too. I Sometimes I call the trades for the current week. And then sometimes I'll call them out with a more of a cushion. Again, it, it's an interesting market because I'll say this stock is going to go here. And then sometimes it goes the second I call it. The second I call it, sometimes it goes. That happened in the trades I called this morning. They're going right away. Sometimes they take a day or two. But that's why it's so important to look at your risk per trade, don't over trade, because you want to be able to give the trades a chance to play out. So again, the trades are lost, lost pretty much all or almost full value, because if something doesn't work, it just goes bust for me. Some people kill at 50%, but then they kill trades that go into work. So if you want to be conservative, you can kill the trade if it doesn't go the first day I call it. But I think that people should cut their risk back and let the trades play out. You're going to have far, far greater success by giving trades a chance to work. And again, the targets are in the letter. I'm here if you have questions. Again, all of these things, I make myself available to talk to people. I just got off the phone with a girl yesterday. And then she emailed me today what she did. I said, okay. What's your plan of action? The trade's already working, but again, you still have to have a plan of action when you're gonna get out of it. You know, nothing goes straight down forever and nothing goes straight up forever. You must know where you're going to exit a trade. And if you're worried you're not gonna get out of it, right? Guess what? Again, put a sell order right away. Buy a call, for example, and then and you could pay a dollar and put a sell order at a buck fifty. If you don't trust yourself to not get out of it, put a sell order at two. Like if you don't trust yourself to make the, the right decision, just put the order in. It's a day order. It'll, it's a limit order. It'll, it'll just cancel out at the end of the day. So again, I try to help, help people, people answer their questions. questions. I'm, I'm here, here if you would, would like, like to ask me questions about, about the letter. letter. This, this was, was an Amazon, Amazon back from a while ago. We did the 3100 puts again. I was saying I like to use a bigger risk because of the fact that it allows you the flexibility to do some of these high flyers. They're fun to trade. They're crazy, though, as far as the movement when they go. So talk about watching trades. I mean, you got to watch these puppies when they go. A lot of active traders, actually big traders, day trade these. Now, that's, you know, I'm not doing like a Friday Amazon that expires on the day of the day. But there are people that do them, that trade them like this because they can be pricey. Anyways, this was an Amazon put, expired on the 21st, called on the 18th. Again, Tuesday to Friday, looking for the drop. It worked. Cost was $21. This actually was cheap for Amazon. Four contracts cost $8,400. Again, keep your risk consistent. Sold at $72, profit $20,400. Return on investment, 243%. Speaking of consistency, yet another trader, she, she, she just flat out told me what she was doing, that she upped her risk. And then she didn't take the same risk then the next week. I said, well, wait a minute. You can't up your risk for one week and then not up your risk for the next week. If you're upping your risk, then that you're moving forward with the increased risk or you just keep it the same. So it's whatever you want to do. I think the weeks when we've had, like when every single trade has worked, which we have had weeks like that this year in 2022, people want to immediately up their risk. Again, the reality is not every trade goes the day that I call it. You have to be able to hold it. And sometimes you have to be able to hold it overnight. So if you can do that with an increased risk, fine. If not, keep your risk the same so that you can let the trades play out. But I think that it's okay if you want to increase your risk if you're doing well. If you're making money week over week over week over week consistently, I'd say for eight weeks, 10 weeks straight, maybe 12, then you could increase your risk. You know, that's what I tell people. Like April will be a good time to do that next month. Uh, if you wanted to do one, 21, again, this was cheap for Amazon. This was really cheap. Uh, this would not be this price today. Risk 2100, sold 72, profit 5100. Again, return on investment 243%. So let's look at it. This was the 18th. I, I didn't even look at this today, but this would be a monster price today, I'm sure. Anyways, here's the drop. Boom. Again, momentum. This is a put. So we're looking for the momentum to go down. Okay, 3,100 strike, again, get the drop, boom. Again, that was into the end of January. This was Amazon. Amazon earnings will happen in April. We'll see where that goes till then. Again, nice stock to trade. 
I mean, you, you can only do options in this, in my opinion. We, I just do not do equity trades in this. I've never done a, a day trade in this, an equity trade. So going back to the beginning of the year, we started out, again, very interesting market this year. We, I mean, who would have known about the Russia conflict that would take hold of the markets in the last few weeks of January? The QQQs had a huge winner, 28,200 to start out the year. There's the Tesla. Just did a video on that, talked about that was a gap of the week last week. So the one spy lost again. Sometimes the trades don't go, then I just hold them into the last day to see if they'll flip. Netflix, huge winner, 37,500. That was even before the earnings, which just, it collapsed. QQQs, 35,000. Facebook, 13,500. NVIDIA, which is a fun stock to trade to as options, can be a little pricey, 14,000, Netflix, 8,800. A lot of market trades, why the market moves. And again, while the prices of the calls and the puts has gone up in the market, the reality is they are fun to trade. They have big moves and a lot of people trade them and they have huge volume too. So you wanna trade options with volume. We don't do anything that doesn't have volume. There are some things I just don't do that don't have volume. The, so the Q's was a winner, 9,000, SPY 9,600, Apple 67.50, SPY 9,000, Q's lost, almost the whole thing. Netflix was a winner, 78.75, Tesla lost, SPY winner there. That's a solid gain. Again, some trades you can hold longer, some trades you just take it, book it, get out. Take it, book it, get out. You chunk it. Amazon lost there. Facebook, again, that was before the earnings, I think. 16.4, Netflix, winner, 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 winner. SPY, 51,500. Again, some huge calls I've made in the market. Some of these newsletters in the market, I think I think most people are doing the SPYs and the Qs. Again, why not everyone is doing the expensive Amazons and Tesla, most people are doing the market trades because, the, I mean, I've just been reading the market right. The QQQs, 39.6. SPY, 16,800. Qs, 15,400. And again, if you want to do something and you say, well, I'm going to do more than one, you could do one farther away from the strike, whether it's a call or a put, because if it goes in your direction, you're still going to make money if it does it in the time frame. Goldman was a small baby winner, 1,500. Spy was a winner, 11,000. Spy, 12,500. Spy, 6,400. Amazon, big winner, 20,400. Diamond, 6,750. Facebook, 7,200. I think that was the one after the earnings. I have to go back and look at the dates. That was another stock that just completely, completely collapsed on the earnings. And again, um, we ended up shorting that. Some people went long it. The play was to the downside. It was a beautiful gap. We day traded it and we did options in it. And again, if I'm day trading the market, I'm day trading the, uh, doing an option and I'm day trading it too. If I'm doing two things at the same time, you know I love it. Actually, we did that with Netflix too. We did that with Netflix too. So the QQQs, 11,500, 11,250. SPY, 40,600. Netflix, 18,600. Winner, 16,800. Winner, QQQ, 16,200. Winner, SPY, 22,600. Winner, Apple was a winner, 5,500. SPY, another winner, 7,500. QQQs, 4,200. SPY lost that one. 6,600 winner in BA, we love the BA. Apple won, Microsoft won, another nice stock to trade in options is Microsoft. MCD never went anywhere, that was a complete bust. Um, that, that, that just did not work. BA lost on that one trade, the Q's lost, SPY lost on that one trade. Facebook then was a big winner, 32,800. Five time, I'll pull up that chart here. That's, a, that's another interesting chart. Just because of the move that it's had since the beginning of the year and then since the earnings. SPY lost, UPS tiny winner. Didn't really move the way I wanted it to in the option. PayPal was one of the gaps of the month. Uh, 8,050, then 10,000. Netflix, another big winner, 12,250. Facebook, 8,400. QQQs, 4,800. SPY, 4,875. Q's a little baby winner. That was the last day. Actually, the trade was down, and then it went the last day, all the way around from being down, all the way around back positive. <laughs> That was completely insane. And same thing with the Netflix too there. That's why the, the gain is so small, but it wasn't a loser. Facebook won 63.60, Apple lost, it was 8,000. Spy 23,800, Facebook 32,800, Q's 20,000, Amazon 11,000. These are all nice trades. Again, with an average risk of 8,000, you can see 
These are all 100% or more than 100% from many, many of the trades. Not that you have to hold them to that. Because again, you may not feel comfortable holding something overnight or being in multiple things overnight. It's whatever your comfort level is and your knowledge base. Netflix, 6250. Facebook, 28,000. PayPal, big one, 52,400. Q, 6,300. Spy, 9,000. You know, we should look at the PayPal chart. I'll pull up the PayPal chart. Spy, 1,500. QQQ's 1500. In fact, let's pull up the let's pull up the PayPal right now. This is nice right now here actually. But the one that was the big one, the biggie 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 biggie. Well, actually no, let's just go back to before. Let's just go all the way back to the beginning of the year. So we did a bunch of different trades in this. So here's where this started off. That's the start to the year in PayPal. Let's just look where it opened. <laughs> the, this stock opened on the year 2022. This is it's only March 3rd at 191.41. That is completely insane, people. Now, again, last week when the market gap down and everything else was, was under 100, was at 94.50, but the stock basically lost half its value in two months. In two months. Seriously. Not even. Today's March 3rd. So, I mean, again, this is the power of momentum and why with options, you know, we're, we're doing momentum. It's the gap. It's the gap rating. It's momentum. So, again, this closed here, 175.80, gap down here to 139.89. And then here, this just fell off a cliff all the way down in here. And this looks really good right here. So I actually did call a trade in this this week too. And it looks great. So, you know, the thing about options, getting back to what I was saying, and you've got to get the direction right, but you've got to get the timing right. So we had a good entry in this one here this week. So it's timing, timing combined with direction. Because again, you're not going to make money if you don't get the direction right. That's in any type of trade. Small loss here in the diamonds. Facebook winner, 6,400, 6,000. QQQ is 9,060. Spy 7,500. Microsoft, another good one to trade as an option. 10,500. It's not cheap anymore to day trade Microsoft. Spy 44,600. Some big trades. Here's the big Tesla. 54,750. Well, but this is expensive to trade. You've got to be able to afford even one contract if you do it. That has to be your minimum risk. Facebook 12,000, Netflix 20,300, QQQ's 10,560. Again, you can see lots of lots of market trades. And sometimes I'll do strike and then strike, which is with the Tesla 24,400 and some of the spies and Qs 11,250. So if I call two Qs, for example, in one day, then do the cheaper Q, you know. Facebook 10,500 or again if they're going your direction, get out of one Q, hold the other Q, for example if you think it's gonna keep going, and you don't wanna hold them both. Spy 11,500, QQQ's 10,700, Apple 17,000. I have to look at that today again. VA 10,800, Spy 9750, QQQ 7,800, PayPal 14,000. Again, PayPal, just a, I mean, again, the stock has lost half its value since the beginning of the year. It's only March 3rd, oops. And then the QQQ 7125. So it's been a great start to the year. But you have to look at how much money you have and start from there. So many people want to wait till they have this much, this much, this much, this much. No, just start trading. Chunk it out. Take one contract. Start small. Take it easy. Do one trade at a time. Be normal. Be normal, okay? This idea of taking a large risk can be your goal in three months, four months, six months from now. Again, if you want to take a larger risk right away, I know there's some people that are doing the Jeremy. I don't know his exact risk, but I know he made 100 grand in two weeks. So, you know, he's not taking a small risk. That's for sure. But he's, he's active, active and he's doing all the trades. trades. So, so the, the trades, trades are there, you know. The, the wins are there. It's, it's about having more winners than losers. losers. That's, That's how you make money in the market. market. And again, and chunking it out with the profits. profits. So some people are risking a lot. Some people are only doing one trade a day. Whatever works for you. Some people are working. Some people are working. One of the traders is a truck driver. He does what he can, but he's delivering. He's he's in the truck and he's taking the trades. I said, how are you doing this? You know, so he gets the emails. He gets the newsletters. 
And if he's in the truck working full time and training, he does the best he can. His goal is to make money. He made 35000 I think, in that one, two week period since he started. So obviously he's more than paid for the annual subscription. It's something where if you want to do this and you want to start doing this, don't wait. You're missing on an opportunity. I'm here if you have questions. I, I, I really am. I will answer people's questions in an email or pick up the phone and call me. I've even gotten on Skype with some people to talk to them when they wanted to. But getting back to a saying, can you trade with a beginner risk? Yes. Yes. And if you want to ask me what I think about that, you can. <coughs> so again, one of the benefits of trading options is you can do it with a small account. You can't. You don't need a margin account for options. You can open up a cash account with a day trade account. If you're equity trading, you must have a margin account. You could be at a retail place or a prop place, but you have to have it set up as a margin account. So that's the difference. You have more flexibility doing options. But ultimately, it's about freedom. What are you going to do? How are you going to get there? It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here to teach you with the classes. I'm here offering people the opportunity. It's an opportunity to be able to get these newsletters. I mean, some people, I have received such warm, nice, amazing emails from people. One of the girls that did the class, she said it was such a show eye-opening to get a window into your mind in the class. That's exactly right. That's what the class is, really. But even if you just join the letter, it's an opportunity to make money. And if any, you can do the class later on once you feel more comfortable and you're starting to trade. It's a good time to trade. It just is. I mean, it's just one of these things that it's horrible what's happening across the world. Again, uh, we're in this situation, but similar to two years ago when COVID hit, the opportunity's there. You got to jump all over it. So if you're interested in taking the course, the class is called the Golden Gap Course. You can sign up. The next class is at the end of March. If you want to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter subscription, it's 12 months for $69.99. And the half annual subscription subscription is $49.99. I do not have a monthly and I do not have a quarterly. This is it. The newsletters are emailed to you. There's no prerequisites. If you can't afford the $7,000, pay the five. Six months is a lot of time in the letter. It is an active letter. Active, okay? So sign up for the $49.99 then. And then, then if you're doing well, which you should be in six months, then you can sign up for the year. The newsletters are emailed to you. And again, there's no prerequisites. You can be anywhere in the world and you just sign up. No trials though, like I said. Email me for upcoming class dates in March. It's March 26th and 27th. Already have people signed up. You can sign up for this ahead of time. You'll learn the system and the strategy in this class. The class is online. Again, you can be anywhere in the world and take it. And the combo, you will save $500, get the trends and the golden gap. The combo then is the 29th is the trends, which is Tuesday, 11 to 3. So Saturday and Sunday, 26th and 27th of March is a big class, 9 to 5. Tuesday is the trends. You sign up for both. You can pay $74.99. You'll learn the system. So you could sign in for the newsletter. You're doing well in the next few weeks and sign up before the class as long as I have spots available. And again, people did that in the month of February. If you have questions, you can email me. If you'd like to sign up, email me. You must email me for the forums. And again, you can pick up a phone and call me. I'm, 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 an, I'm a person. I live in New York. 929-3200 GAP. People are doing well. Congratulations to all of you who made the decision to join and are doing well. And the people that are juggling things like the truck driver trading and delivering packages, he's got his long-term goals. He wants to retire. He doesn't want to drive a truck for the rest of his life. Training is a lot more fun. So he's doing what he can to get there. And that is what you need to do too. Look at it as a long-term bigger picture. Email me again at melissa at thestockswish.com for questions. Have a great day, everyone.